Thousands of Australians spent their Christmas Day in queues for a COVID test, some getting turned away from clinics. Joining us live now is Randwick City Council Mayor Dylan Parker. Dylan, thanks for your time. Could the chaos that we're seeing at testing clinics at the moment be avoided? Good morning and look, the short answer is yes. The chaos that we are seeing at clinics all across New South Wales, in particular in my area, was totally avoidable and it was totally avoidable because all uh, the New South Wales government had to do uh, was open the clinics that they already have uh, there uh, on Christmas Day and in the lead up to uh, the holiday period, uh, I was receiving reports that clinics were intermittently shutting. Uh, some were now now no longer taking members of the public, uh, but we're only taking those who are travelling uh, abroad. Uh, and to be honest, the system was working well, uh, and then they changed the system. Uh, and now people who were queuing up on Christmas Day, uh, they've missed their Christmas because they were standing in lines because there were fewer testing centres than was normally operating. So not good enough. Uh, I heard one report where an individual got there at 8.30 in the morning. Uh, he didn't uh, get tested until 4pm on Christmas Day. Uh, I drove past Prince of Wales Hospital uh, again today and there were people who were lining up, uh, sitting on chairs. Uh, they had books, bottles of water. They were under gazebos. It looks like they were getting ready for another very long slog. Incredibly frustrating for so many people. The pressure has been added, though, to the system because people are required to get that PCR test to travel interstate. Do you think that that governments around the country that are requiring that of, of travellers should be shifting and maybe accepting rapid antigen tests instead? Uh, look, I think that's a matter for the health officials, but first and foremost for any uh, anyone in, in the health bureaucracy, anyone in the New South Wales Liberal government, uh, a short and simple message, open the testing centres that you have. Uh, Randwick Council and uh, myself as the Mayor, I've banged the table and said that we should remove absolutely every impediment to these centres uh, operating. Uh, they can operate seven days a week, uh, early in the morning and late into the night uh, if they have to. Uh, but the problem is, is the government and uh, the private providers have said, no, they don't want to do that. They're operating on reduced hours uh, over the holiday period. Look, I look at it and I go, uh, the, the health settings are really a matter for the individual jurisdictions. Uh, but what we do know is if the facilities are there, use them. Absolutely. What else do they need to do going forward to avoid this in 2022? Well, look, I would think in 2022, and I, I really strongly hope uh, that they get this fixed. Uh, and, and first and foremost, I think of uh, the healthcare staff who have been for two years now absolutely working their guts out. Uh, and what they want is a smooth and an orderly system. Uh, it was foreseeable that there would be an increase in demand uh, in the lead up to Christmas uh, with people needing uh, tests with increased cases, uh, as you mentioned, with people travelling. Uh, and for all of the people who've been standing in the sun, who've been dealing with uh, cranky, sometimes sick uh, people who need uh, a test uh, for them, uh, uh, what, what needs to happen is the system needs to work. Uh, our healthcare workers are absolute heroes here, but they need the support. Uh, Ramwick Council, we, we will do anything uh, in order to get this to work, but what we need is the government in order to uh, open the facilities they have first and foremost. Certainly not sustainable having people wait for hours in the sun, in the rain, just to get a PCR test. The government has said that they will be making rapid antigen tests free, hopefully delivering them out by next year. Do you welcome that? Uh, I know that New South Wales Labor had been calling for free uh, rapid antigen tests uh, for some time. I think it's good uh, that the government has uh, taken that up. Uh, at the moment, you can't get one anywhere on the shelves on local pharmacies because people can't get their other PCR tests. So what they're doing is in our rating pharmacies for a rapid test. Uh, look, any form of testing is good. The PCR is the gold standard, but if you can get a rapid test, uh, that, that's better than no test. But uh, what I would absolutely say is uh, people want to do the right thing. They don't want to infect their friends, their families, their co-workers, uh, and people need options. Uh, 2022, uh, look, that's good, but it, it would have been far better if, if they had looked uh, a little bit down the line and said, look, there's going to be a huge spike in demand here. Uh, let's get the stuff out early so we're not scrambling later. Certainly not the way many people wanted to spend their Christmas, I can imagine. Dylan Parker, thank you so much for your time this morning. Thank you.